welcome you once more again to my channel Ozzy Styles where we teach us about marriage counseling advice for ladies and gentlemen who want to get into marriage marriage is an institution God himself have ordained thank you for my new subscribers I have been not I have not been uploading a video for a long time god will richly bless you um without going too far today's topic is very very interesting that's why you no know, i say i will upload this video if i if i do another thing things that today's topic said things that kills marriage things that kills marriage i have all i have listed all of them if you go after going through this thing, you know that is what is killing our marriage. One, laziness. Women, that time you are a young lady, you are very active, agile, looking for a a, bit, a, a, a handsome man to marry. Immediately you come into a home, you become lazy. You don't take care of yourself don't take care of your home even though your own body don't take care of your own body you know men are always seduced by what they see with their eyes as he met you before he married you continue like that to be taking care of yourself laziness being lazy don't taking care of your home don't not cleaning your home laziness being lazy another thing is lack of trust all my videos have said it lack of trust if you don't trust your partner that's what kills marriage women here you see me I trust my husband no matter anything outside trust your husband just build a trust build a trust that's why I said if you want to marry look for a delicate Christian brother this world we are now is very dangerous. Women are naked outside. But if you build a strong trust, no matter anything, anybody come to you and tell about husband, you will stand with him. Wives also, the husband, you will stand with your wife. Another thing is lack of respect. The third one. I always said it. Respect. Lack of respect kills marriage. You see men, they want to be respected if you want your husband to love you respect your husband it's also in the bible we should respect our husband so that they will love us respect your husband try it i know sometimes it's difficult try to respect your husband you see the love just come automatic without you asking for it another point is unforgiveness we bear too much grudges if our partner does anything to us unforgiveness kills marriage especially we women we will not cook food and give to that man and you forget that if that man goes outside to go and eat you now the, the women you say he's looking for you now get it there forgive so that you your marriage will move on. Anything your husband did, did you see me? I don't bear God this. Try make out time. When he's when he are, I always say it in my YouTube. When you know that husband is hot temper, just relax as a woman. If you know that he have cooled down, you now call him. Blow out your mind. Tell you what tell him how you feel. You push to try to try to communicate with each other and solve things out. Don't go and look for third party. <sighs> and that is being um keeping too much secret. When you keep too much secrets, your husband is supposed to be your best friend. You don't this is your marriage. There's no pretense. You have to work it out. You don't have to keep secrets. Be open to each other. That's it. And that is infertility. Infertility kills marriage. Infertility, it kills marriage, no go area. 
and that is lack of communication poor communication i've said it when you are not communicating the marriage is not going to work you have to communicate to communicate with your husband no one is happy no one is not happy this marriage this marriage is two of you have agreed to live as husband and wife this is a union is it between two people two of you if you have problem i beg you with the name of god you or two of you have to you two of you are two matured people sit down communicate and sort things out please don't go outside and look for third party you are killing yourself and your marriage women we are builders and not destroyers don't use your own hands to destroy your own marriage two of you have to communicate and sort things out my sisters it works try it another thing is sex we always neglect it when your husband is not getting enough sex it kills marriage feed that man that sex like a food in the house give it to him so he will not go outside and i know go and start looking for it give it to him as a woman says have to be enjoyed in marriage when your husband demand it give it to him if you are tired tell him that you are tired have to wait for the next time give it to him it is right and we men give it to your wife is your wife's rights another thing is relating with your partner or or friends if you are the one relating with your parents sorry or friends please as i said before relating with your parents or your friends please don't be a type that if you have a small thing your husband does a small thing you go and tell your parents your parents that have lived their own own life for oh. they have married though and lived their own life for oh. try and don't be a type you anything that happens in your marriage you gotta tell your best friend you don't know what that's telling saying at your back you don't know what is your best friend saying i have seen a situation where a best friend snatch a friend's husband it's happening it's happening people open your eyes if you have problems said it before sort things out with your husband don't bring Third party, third party kills marriage. Even your parents don't involve them because when you tell your parents, the sometimes you be, you have a good advice, sometimes you have a wrong advice. I have seen a fam a, a situation where the girl take a wrong advice from her parents. The thing hit on the girl. Please, two of you are matured people enough. Sit down, communicate, sort things out. The marriage is for you. People. Two of you have decided to live as husband and wife. Sit down, sort things out. Another thing is um lie. Lie kills marriage. Please let us try to be open to each other. It's better you tell your husband the truth and tell the outsiders the lie. Because if you tell him the truth, he will defend you outside. Then telling him lies, he cannot be able to defend you outside. Tell your husband the truth and tell the outsiders the lie. Please, 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 my people. Another thing that kills marriage is nagging. I always say it in my YouTube channel if you watch all of them. Nagging, nagging, nagging kills marriage. Women, instead of you nagging, love that man. I've said it. You cannot change a man's character. My character, as you see me, I can change it. You can change it. But the other person, it is difficult in life. You yourself have to change your character. This man, because this man is 40, 60, 70, the parents could not change his character. And you are coming up to change this man's character. No, it's not going to work. As you saw the man, you have to live with it. 
That's why that time you are dating, you have to tire to find out what you like and what you don't like. Nagging. Let's stop nagging. It kills marriage. Instead of you nagging, love that man. The people who have to try to change their character is your children. I always say it in my YouTube. Not your husband, no. The Bible said nagging. Being living in a house with a nagging wife looks like a dropping of rains. You know when it rains? We that live in the village, it rains. The sound, that's how it looks like. Nagging kills marriage. Stop nagging. Instead of nagging, love him. Please. Another thing that kills marriage is suspicion. You are suspecting. You, <laughs> you controls everything, husband. Yeah, you see me. My husband's for my is there. He can. I can go there. Some men they don't want. I know some men don't like their wives to touch their phone. Sometimes you leave them neglect. Neglect what there is when you are suspecting that you will find something. When you say you are suspecting, start looking for a proof. Then you will find something now. You find. Be yourself, love yourself. Don't have time to control a man's phone. Even though he close, he he put password. Just leave him. Be a good wife. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. This suspicion, suspicion. So you are going to you are saying you have you are trying to find. You must find something. You want to find something. You must find something. Neglect something. Something sometimes don't have to talk. Neglect some things you see. That's man's phone. If you put password, you don't want to neglect it. All this and suspect and suspect, it kills marriage. I want to call all of them one by one. What kills marriage? Sex. Lack of sex kills marriage. Nagging kills marriage. Laziness kills marriage. Suspicion kills marriage. Lack of trust kills marriage. Lack of respect kills marriage. Relating with your parents or your friends kills marriage. Unforgiveness kills marriage. Ag aggressive kills marriage. Arguments kills marriage. Keeping secret from your spouse kills marriage. Infertility kills marriage. Poor communication kills marriage. Lie kills marriage. Lack of inadequate enjoyable sex. Kills marriage. My people, all these things I said here, that's what kills our marriage. That's why we have too much divorce. Nobody wants to have patience again. Please, my advice, women, we are builders and not destroyers. You see some of them, they will divorce tomorrow. They start looking for another man to marry. In my language, they say, if you marry the first one and second one, you now know which one is better for you. No marriage is perfect. No marriage is perfect. All the marriages you see, they are displaying the uh, internet, YouTube, social media, is not perfect. Marriages have their own problem. They will, they, will, they will just show you the good part of it. But the bad part of it, they will not show you. Women, stand up right now. Stand up and build your own home. So that there will be not too much divorce and our children will be rugged. This world will be uncomfortable. Please, I'm begging you with the name of the Lord. If you don't have wisdom, ask God. He said, as it shall be given unto you. God that gives us all wisdom. To give you wisdom. To take care of your family. To take care of that man you say that you cannot control. We, you pray, God will change that man. All this is I mentioned for you. Oh. I hope it will help you to build a very strong marriage. I am 20 years, solely 20 years in marriage. So last, last September, maybe 20 years in marriage. It is, on, it, it is not an easy road. But now, I lose like my husband's friend. He looks like my, he's on my friend, everything to me. At the beginning, two of you, it's just two different characters coming to live. Another thing that will help you if you, that's your if you are dating, if you are dating especially, try to find out that, that that your that your husband or spouse character. Look for what he likes and what he don't dislike. It will help you. Please. 
I pray that God will help us to build our marriage. God, give us wisdom and understanding to stand on this solid rock called marriage. Because God, this is an institution you ordained that we must live. Help us, Lord. Give us wisdom and understanding to follow our partners. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, give women wisdom and understanding. Give them strength. I know it's difficult. But by your grace, we shall do exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening to me. If you have not subscribed, please press that. Always press that notification button. So that anything I, I bring some of this topic, I'm able to listen to it. I was really, really interested in this story when I saw it and I wrote all these things. So I will bring it out. It's very, very interesting. May God keep you up. Be in peace. May the peace of Lord be with you people. Be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. See us in my next video. Bye.